What's up guys, this is RG giving you another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see we're here on the Demon Hunter class and yes, this is going to be the Paragon Leveling Guide. I am level 12 on Paragon Levels and I wanted to show you guys something really quickly about Paragon Levels that is very very important and is going to get you that high level really quick. So let's go ahead and go to the Auction House real quickly and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now let's hit the Cell tab and I'll show you my helmet. You definitely want a socket in your helmet with that 25 bonus experience. It is going to help you a lot. And it doesn't matter if you have a better helmet, like this Natalia's Gaze is much better than the Hunter's Helm. But the Natalia's Gaze does not have a socket. You're definitely, definitely going to need that 25% or more experience gain in your helmet. Now let's show you something else that uh, is going to boost your uh, experience up. You can go back to the... Um, search tab in the auction house look up Leoric signet and if you do have the money for it definitely a good investment as Leoric signet does give you at least 20 percent bonus experience gain on your ring now you can get it all the way up to 30 but the higher end ones cost around um 500 million or even more so you definitely want to go ahead and get as much exp gain as possible and if you can get one on your um um your follower then definitely go for that but check it out guys 500 million 400 million for 30 percent so uh, if you can get that then definitely go for it you also try to snipe one off if you can um, it's going for about I think um, 40 million you know if you're trying to snipe them so uh, have at least around 40 million if you're trying to do that so let's go ahead and show you what quest I'm on right now I'm on the hardest in quest this is where I farm I like to farm in the act 3 inferno uh, and that's where I get my exp because it gives you the most items so let's go ahead and show you what's the fastest exp though it's in act 1 go to quest 9 and go to the cursed hold that's the quest that I'm currently on right now so let's go ahead and switch it to that and we'll resume it up so I'll show you guys in game what build I use and how I'm actually doing this to, to make it the fastest possible so check it out guys, I don't have any other EXP gear besides my helmet, but let's go ahead and check out my skills and I'll show you exactly what I'm using. The Hungering Arrow with Spirit Teeth, nothing new and it's very useful there. The Multi Shot with Fire at Will is what I'm using. It's Fire at Will, cost reduced to 15 Hatred, also deals 165% weapon damage. Shadow Power is much needed, it's, it's the most needed skill in this. It's uh, not smoke screen. Shadow Power with Gloom is so needed. You will be in their faces and you'll need that uh, extra life percent chance hit, or life percent uh, gain from hits uh, for reflex damage. Now Tumble is going to be very very useful in this build and it's going to be needed for that mobility. Preparation, you're going to have it for invigoration and obvious uh, to keep vaulting. And companion is for multi shot. You definitely want to be able to use multi shot as much as possible as it will do the most damage in this build and it does hit the most enemies. Now, sharpshooter, we're going to use over steady aim because, you, like I said, with the gloom, you'll be in their faces. And steady aim, you have to be within 10 yards distance. Sharpshooter, you do not have to be in distance. Your critical hit chance is going to go up every second. Archery, you know, obviously is because um, it does the most damage, and tactical advantage because it is going to synergize with your vault. So tactical advantage with vault going to be very, very useful. And remember to have that tumble on there because it is going to be um, a, a drainer on your um, discipline there. So let's go ahead and quickly show you the Templar I'm using. Uh, I am using the Templar just because I have the items here, as you can see. The items um, that are full there. I do not have any Enchantress items or Scoundrel items, so that's why I'm using him. First place I want to go to is the Festering Woods, as the Festering Woods has the most um, densely populated elites. Always has at least three packs, and um, sometimes has five to six packs. So... Let's go ahead and quickly look. I just want to skip out over all the mobs, pretty much uh, white mobs. Just quickly give them a one-two shot of the multi-shot. Uh, one or two shots should be, probably kill them, as it is Act One, and I'm looking for rares only. Um, if there are plans that drop, definitely look for the blues for your plans, as they still show up blue. Again, look how um, I'm using my vault. I wait uh, two or three seconds right there, as you can see, and then vault again. So, showing you guys quickly, again using my shadow power, doesn't matter if they reflex damage or not, because you're not really checking for the reflex damage before using shadow power, you just use shadow power if you can, if you have enough discipline, right before you attack the elites, because if they are reflex damage and you have a huge amount of damage, you will kill yourself, especially if you don't have resistances or life. So just continuing on, using the tactic of 
uh, seeing if my movement speed has slowed and then vaulting again so that my tactical advantage is up at all times. As you can see, just quickly uh, looking at the area, looking for these um, these caves or these little crypts that you can actually go into, they will ha guaranteed have a mob in there, a elite pack. So again, using your shadow power, right as you see the mob and you're right about to attack it, always use your shadow power. You do not have enough time to say, oh look, let me see if he's a reflex damage or not do not have that time, you're just going to be as quick as possible, as fast as possible, killing these elites. So, quickly, use your uh, vault again, make sure you're always having that tactical advantage up, and always keep an eye on the map, it, you don't want to overstep where you just went to, or, or uh, redo it. Uh, again, I'm looking for the warrior's rest right now, as I see that there is no possible way that there's a warrior's rest in spawning in here, uh, it's usually below the waypoint, or a little bit uh, like kind of closer to the waypoint I can see that this tile set does not gonna have a warrior's rest in it so um, I'm just gonna check quickly at the middle here um, and I see that uh, looks like there's none yeah so okay so um, since there's no warrior's rest uh, no possible warrior's rest um, here I'm just gonna look up quickly in the top of right okay nice so yes there is a guaranteed three elites in this one um, that is the lowest possible. You will get lucky and get five or six elite packs. And as you can see, I'm done with this. So just putting my banner down and showing you guys that I'm done with this. I, I want to be um, going to the next area. So it is pretty clear there. Next area I want to go to is Cemetery of the Forsaken. Another uh, place where you can find really high clumps of elite packs. Usually there's one in the courtyard elite pack, but sometimes there's not. I'd say that's about 30% that there is one there. There's a fortune shrine, just getting the shrines really quickly, and as you can see, just doing a huge amount of damage with that um, sharpshooter, as a sharpshooter does stack up as you're running around just trying to find elites. Uh, right here you can see there's an event there. I do not want to go that way because there's just no elites that way, and also there is a... Um, it's just a stone that's going to take me back to the cemetery. So there it is. Found an elite right there, and I'm going to kill him off really quickly, checking if there's any rares really quick, and then backing up to the town. Uh, check it out, guys. I'm almost at another bar here, as I just got like uh, almost half a bar from just that really, really quick instance there. So just just uh, continue on doing your speed run as fast as you possibly can, uh, but without you know uh, skipping over too much stuff. Trying to find as many elite packs as possible. You're kind of going for around five, five elite packs uh, per ten minutes. So as as long as you're doing that, five five to elite packs per ten minutes, you should be fine. Um, you're going to get around uh, one million experience uh, every six minutes. I calculated that um, every run that I do, it's around one million experience per six minutes. Uh, you can do that in Act 3, but you have to have a huge amount of gear. Like, I can do it myself, but uh, this is more for people that don't have that much gear that still want to get really quick Paragon levels. So, quickly, uh, Act 1 is faster than Act 3, but Act 3 actually gives you a lot more items. It's definitely going to give you a lot more level 63 items and chances to get level 63 uh, you know, legendaries much more. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind. If you can farm Act 3 quickly, you definitely want to do that instead of farming Act 1 as it does give you more items. If you don't care about items, you're you're geared out and you have enough gold for this foreseeable future, you just want to go ahead and keep on doing Act 1 as it is much easier. You will not die ever and you will just get a high amount of um, Paragon experience uh, with this. So. Just checking really quickly down, uh, down and uh, up and down this um, area, just looking for the elite that's there. Uh, quickly using my um, my gloom here to counteract the reflex damage, and just showing you guys that gloom very very useful. Do not need smoke screen for this build. So keep on going along your way. As you can see that there's a level two crypt there. I'm done with the crypts. I can actually go in to the last area of my my uh, video here go all the way down to the halls of agony some people like to go to the fields of misery but actually go to the halls of agony just straight out fields of misery sometimes has really really sparse um, you know packs so you just want to go straight up to the halls of agony as it is a, is a confined area it's very easy to find packs uh, very easy to just uh, skip over stuff and um, instantly kill things with one multi shot especially when you have your um, sharpshooter ticking off like this so continue on 
going towards um, the upper right because upper right is always where it's going to be most likely it is going to be in the upper right um, to the next area Highlands Passage sometimes has an elite pack here but it's only if there's an NPC with a um, blue blue exclamation point over his head that means it's a rare NPC and he only appears about I think like around 30% of the time as well Continue on um, going through the Highlands Passage to the Curse Hold, and this is where you free the prisoners. Now, you want to be very um, um, cautious when freeing the prisoners. Uh, just make sure that you go upper left first. Um, the bottom right, most of the time, I'd say 80% of the time, there there's like 4 or 5 in the upper uh, left, if not 6. So most of the time, they're in the upper left, the, the people that are um, need, need to be freed. And there's a lot of mobs here that you can kill easily as they're in the prisons, uh, clumped up like that. So the multi-shot is going to be very good for this. The reason I don't use Cluster Arrow for this is because it takes a huge amount of hatred to use Cluster Arrow if you've never used it before. Very, very um, expensive skill there. It does do the most damage in the game um, for Demon Hunters, uh, for Burst that is. But it does not, it's very, very um, unforgiving with the hatred spending. You could spend um, all your hatred in two shots, whereas um, this um, multi shot is going to be very forgiving with the fire at will. So you could just spam it whenever. So just keep on going. As you can see, I freed three prisoners already, so it's going to be half half. And as you can see, there's some more elite pack there. Just checking if they have um, any rares, and I don't want to die from those um, explosions. So you just just waiting a couple seconds, um, as it does take a lot more time coming back to your corpse than it does just waiting for the explosions to happen. So be very careful with that. Again, you do not have a uh, smoke screen, so if you did have smoke screen, you could run in there, grab the items, and leave. But uh, gloom much better for this. So continue on killing everything that you see really quickly and easily, and you don't really have to um, worry about dying here. Uh, as you can use just pop your gloom and it'll, it will give you your HP back. Continue on looking for your prisoners and there it is, the last two prisoners. Um, again, it, this is going to spawn the, the uh, what is his name, Warden I believe. Uh, and so you want to go ahead and get to the middle as quickly as possible. Grab that um, Frenzy Trine as I've seen there and I'll just look for the Warden to come out here. As you can see, I'm kind of saving my hatred up so I can just burst down the warden as fast as possible. Here we go, gloom up and just burst the warden down very, very quickly, easily. Uh, bursting the warden down, getting that uh, rune sling pistol and the ring here. So quickly um, dealing with that guy and going to the next level. So uh, this is the final level where the butcher resides at. And as you can see, there's always going to be a bunch of mobs here. So be careful uh, that there is a bunch of mobs there. Going to the Halls of Agony, level 3. So continue on to the Halls of Ag Agony, level 3. We're just going to check left here quickly, so see if we can find any mobs. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, we don't have any packs uh, that are hiding to the left there. So we're just going to keep going straight up. As you can see, just um, using a huge amount of burst here uh, with the multi-shot and getting a good amount of damage out. Now, right here, um, we're, we're just going to see that there's a goblin. Okay, so that's awesome. Just get that quick goblin kill and try to get uh, all the items as um, fast as possible. Uh, oh, oh, it looks like I'm uh, full right here. So, oh, it looks like I pulled, picked up. Oh, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Kind of getting, getting too, uh, too flustered here. So just, pick, just look at all the items there. Make sure you don't have any blues in your um, inventory. And... Um, just, just continue on as fast as possible. I did waste a little bit of time there, but not too much, and it wasn't too bad. So just be quick about it, and if you make a mistake, don't get flustered. Just um, learn from my mistake and just calm down, grab the stuff, and throw it down. Um, you can actually do it while you're moving as well if you want to be super pro with it. Uh, again, use your, um, use your gloom. Uh, to make sure you don't die to these guys, as dying will be very, very unhelpful. <laughs> to your cause here. You want to be as quick as possible, as fast and as easy um, to do this as possible. So continue on guys, go to go keep going and it looks like I'm going to be getting a butcher boss now. There it is guys, uh, I reached a checkpoint at the butcher boss and here we go. So all you have to do really is you can face tank the butcher as long as you have your gloom up as, as much as you possibly can. As you can see I don't have um, that much of my um, uh, discipline so I just use your preparation and keep your gloom up at all times if you can. You can also just dodge him if you want to, but for this um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just tank him with gloom uh, as it does have um, a good amount of uh, damage reduction 
and I do have a huge amount of dexterity so I dodge a lot so there it is guys very very quick run as you can see I'm almost level 13 already and I am level 12 so it is going to give you a huge amount of experience and also check out the items guys I don't have a huge amount of items but I've only been picking up rares as the rares are really all that you really want if you're going to uh, salvage them then you're gonna get a bunch of uh, tears from them and stuff like that um, you do have a chance to get um, the brimstone but that's only from level I think 63 or 62 items and up but um, I don't have very many 62 items I'm looking at the rings right now it's not looking great but um, I hope that helped you guys with uh, your Paragon EXP leveling. I'm just identifying items now. So it looks like I don't really have great items. Damn, that could have been good for a uh, not Enchantress, the uh, Scoundrel. But um, that isn't a Scoundrel item. But uh, yeah, that is a quick run, guys. It wasn't the fastest ever. It also wasn't the luckiest ever, as I drew only three elites in the Festering Woods instead of five. I also didn't draw the, um, uh, what was it, the event. So definitely not the best possible uh, outcome, but I did get a really fast EXP bar. I was like a whole bar and a little, almost like a half of a bar. So bar and a half from what, like around 15 minute run, something like that. So just be quick about your runs, get a huge amount of EXP on this run, and um, hope that helped you a lot. Other than that, definitely go ahead and check out my channel and subscribe if you can. Uh, like the video if you liked it, it would really help out, and I appreciate it. Uh, other than that, uh, as always, thank you all for watching, and take it easy. Peace.